Aprilia RS125. It's a 2002 bike. Let's go through the paperwork first. It comes with an HPI certificate. It's got its uh, owner's manual. It comes with a V5 registration document. It shows it's a uh, no former keepers, so uh, it's one owner. Comes with the last MOT certificate that it had, and that expired in October 2007. And it comes with a copy of the description that I've done for the bike, which you can see down below in the listing there. A few things to point out around the bike. Um, it's had a hole in the fuel tank. Now, this picture here I'm showing you, this bit you actually see is not actually the fuel tank, that's the fuel tank cover. The fuel tank itself is inside there. And to access the battery, the tank unscrews here and pivots up. And the inner tank has, looks like it's been clamped down on something sharp. And it's poked a little hole in the tank about the size of a little screw hole. That's been repaired with some plastic padding. It looks like it's holding, but just in case it, it doesn't, you might need to have another go at doing that. Uh, the rear right indicator has been taped on. I've not tried pulling the tape off to see um, how bad it is under there, but obviously that uh, needs some attention there. It seems sort of semi-secure there, probably past an MOT like that, but it obviously it's not what it should be. This picture here I've got to show you the neutral light. Now, the bike at the moment hasn't been started for a couple of years. When you press the starter button, the neutral light needs to be on before you can start the bike. Uh, and you can't do that because the neutral light switch has got a bit old. So what I've done here, I've just bypassed the uh, the neutral light switch with a piece of wire just to make sure that that comes on and the starter does work, and it does. But I just, just haven't run the engine up as yet. You will need to buy a neutral light switch. You can get all the parts for these bikes from Moto Parts UK, a pretty part of supplier. They do new and used parts, so it might be worth uh, contacting them if you buy the bike. Um, I've got this picture to show the dip beam switch doesn't work. You can't quite see the switch there because the fairing's in the way there, but um, when you've got the lighting on the dip beam doesn't work, so probably the bulb has gone there. This picture is just showing the state of the exhaust. It looks rusty. Obviously with the bike been sitting around for quite a while, but there's that to consider. I also see the end of this um, foot peg here is broken off. It's still usable. The front tyre is getting um, getting quite worn now. You're going to need to replace it at some point. There is some perishing there, but that's not too severe to fail the MOT. But probably the depth of tread could well be. So you, you're probably going to have to change the tyre before long. The rear tyre is pretty much like new. The rear shock absorber feels weak to me. I know they often feel like that on these bikes, but that one also feels soft. Whether you can adjust it up or whether you need to replace it, I don't know. So that may need some attention. Uh, this picture is just to remind me to show you that the uh, the seat lug has got two lugs on the back of the seat and the clips on the front. So when you turn the key, it releases the front and you un unhook it like that. But the right hand lug, which is usually the one that breaks off, has snapped off. I think what happens is people put the seat on, but they haven't got it, the lugs in place and they sit on it, and then it obviously breaks one of the lugs. But one's enough to hold it, that that's fine. Uh, this picture here is to show that the front brake lever is bent. It's usable, but it's bent. Um, and that picture there is to show that the fairing has got WD-40 on it. It kind of looks a bit slimy, but the bike will clean up a fair bit better than what it is at the moment. You can also see in some of these pictures there, there's a screw missing here. And there's a little crack in the fairing between here and here. There's um, You can see where the bike has fallen over. There's There's marks in there. The panels, generally speaking, are not held on very securely. The screws missing and that sort of thing. As a quick measure, you could hold it on with cable ties and hold it all in place, but you will need to replace the bolts and the screws and that, which are not with the bike. Um, they vibrate there and got lost and that sort of thing. But Moto Parts UK, there again, it is a good place to get bits and pieces from for that. Don't think there's much else to tell you on the bike. Um, Oh, there's a little scratch up here. Light greys on there. But, uh, there we go. Good luck with the bidding.